Hi, on many of my previous videos, I received a lot of questions about how I made my cushions. So here it is, I'm making a separate video for you guys. First thing, you need to have a round cushion pad of any size, any regular size. Before we cutting the fabric, we need to get a measurement of the cushion pad. Here I am measuring from its center part to the other center part on its other side and uh, mine is around 16 inch. Then we need to measure its uh, circumference so just go around and get a measurement of it. Here yeah, mine is around 39 and 40 inch. The fabric I prefer to have is velvet weller. It is a four way stretch material. In my opinion it is good to have a velvet fabric or a satin silk material which will give a really luxury appearance. Here I cut the fabric according to the measurement of the cushion pad. Here I show you it again just to make sure. And I am adding an extra 1 inch on both ways. Here I am bringing both short ends together. Then before I put it in the machine, I'll be using the pins to hold both seams together. It's actually really helpful because I'm not an expert in sewing. If you are a beginner, you should do it as well. Now we can sew that ends together. Once we finish that part, it will end up with two opening like this. So we can start hand sewing. I am using a strong nylon thread for the hand sewing part. It is just a regular running stitch method. We need to go through like this.
now once we meet the starting point we can pull the thread tight and tie it Once we tie and secure the thread, we can start inserting the cushion pad. Now we need to do the same running stitch method to close the remaining opening. This part should be done as the same as the other side. Just pull the thread tight and tie it. To complete the cushion, we can sew on some rhinestone crystal buttons. Here I got some beautiful rhinestone crystals. And I'll be using one of them on one side. I'm using a strong upholstery wax cord to sew on the button. Then we need to have a long needle. You can use the regular long needle or a really long upholstery needle like I have here. It makes the work really easy. That's why I'm using it. We need to pull the thread really tight to secure the buttons on both sides so it's really important to have a strong and durable thread. You can make a cushion like this within a very short period of time even though you are a beginner. So that's how you can make a glamorous and luxurious cushion at home. So please subscribe to my channel and see you next week. Bye bye.